Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass and in today's video, I'll be going over Shopify Headless Commerce. I'm gonna explain what it's about and why you may want to be using it for your Shopify Plus store. Now to note, this is an option for bigger stores here and if you're smaller, you're probably not gonna worry about it. Even so, if you're looking for an explanation, you found the right video. Before I dive into it, I wanna thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify App Store. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get real-time calculations. All you have to do is select your date range, get a bunch of information on how profitable you truly are, along with a variety of different detailed metrics so you can understand how your store is truly performing. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial. And I'm also gonna show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. So first, let's go over what headless commerce is. And so it's the decoupling of the customer facing front end of your e-commerce experience from the commerce functions and business logic on the back end. So Elastic Path did a great diagram here. You can see the two separations of the front end and the back end. So if we take a look at the front end, you have your web portal, your chatbots, your in-store e-commerce, your social commerce, your customer service, your mobile checkout. Now on the back end, you have things such as the customer accounts, inventory management, promotions, internationalization, payments, pricing, as well as your order information. And so if you take a look at Shopify here, so your front end is gonna be your website. So where the customer interacts with you, you can also have other things such as your customer service as well, but mainly it's gonna be your website or your app if you have one of those where the customer interacts with your brand and the back end is gonna be where all the infrastructure takes place. So the order management, product creation. So it's essentially gonna look like your Shopify dashboard. So you may be wondering why would you wanna decouple them? Well, there can be a few advantages and let's go over them. So we head over to Shopify Plus's page here. There are four benefits they list. The first one's gonna be innovation. You can turn virtually any screen into a digital storefront. No longer gonna be tethered to just your website here. You can now have things such as smart mirrors, wearables, mobile apps as well, all feeding information to your backend, which is gonna be Shopify backend here. And that's what you're gonna be utilizing. It's gonna be developer freedom. So let your team build storefronts with the tools they already know and accelerate development tools with built-in Shopify tools. You're gonna to get things such as flexibility. You can gain control over your visual expression and buyer experience without the restriction of generic template. You can also do omni-channel selling. So you can start selling on all the digital mediums your customers use while managing everything from a single backend and it's gonna be Shopify's backend in this case. But a few big brands using it, we can see Allbirds, Grassroots, Babylist, and Figs are all using Shopify's headless commerce. If we look at Shopify's diagram, we can see different touch points here from a mobile app on a watch, a website, or even a gaming controller can all interact with where your brand is. And then you can push that information and interact with your storefront API for your products, customer accounts, meta fields, carts, international shipping, discounts, and more. So you're essentially letting Shopify handle the back end which gives you more control over the front end. The benefit here of using Shopify headless is that you get way more control on the front end, but still getting those amazing capabilities of Shopify's back end. Shopify also has a headless storefront, so it's their hydrogen framework, which is a React-based framework. If you're not a developer, React, the framework that makes it really easy to build front ends, so websites, mobile app, and so on. The quote from Allbirds here is that they didn't want to reinvent the wheel, and they saw an incredible opportunity to partner with Shopify to handle the base level of commerce services that they didn't feel like they needed to build. Because if you're a brand, you really just want your backend to work efficiently, effectively, and quickly. And so if you handle Shopify to do that, you can focus on the front end experience with customers. You can integrate with tools you already know, so your ERP, PRM, CRM, and CMS tools that you already have. You can see some examples are QuickBooks, NetSuite, SAP, Microsoft, and more. So overall, that's Shopify headless in a nutshell. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. But overall, it's a very innovative thing as many brands are starting to move headless, especially the larger ones. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And you haven't checked it out, check out ProfitCalc. It's the one-click profit calculator. All you have to do is select your date range here. It's gonna give you calculations and detailed profit metrics on how your store is truly performing. This concludes the video. And I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next one.